courage in my system. And I was motivated and moved to go out and start talking to girls a lot more often. And I, I used to objectify women at that point, but I didn't know by those terms back then because I used to go to school and I was looking for the most beautiful girl in school. And I was thinking in my head, I'm going to get her. And it continued to get worse as I drank more, I partied more, I started to deal with more girls. And I started to look at this as a source of proving my manhood. Like when the homies gave me recognition for being able to pull the finest girl in the party, that felt good. That made me feel accepted. That made me start to think that maybe I am good enough. And that validated who I was at that point. But this way of living and this way of thinking escalated all the way to the point to where I objectified another human being at the point of taking his life. I murdered a man because I was emotionally disconnected. Because I didn't know how to cope with my feelings, with the feelings of rejection. And I wanted to be accepted more than I valued another human being's life. And that's what I'm ashamed to say today. But I realized that all this was started because of patriarchy and the way that it was showing up in my family, the way that it was showing up in my culture, the way that it was showing up in my community, the way that it shows up in our world. And look, just last year I was opposing this topic. And this year I'm fully invested. I read some books by Bell Hooks uh, about love, about patriarchy. And I started to get real clear on how I was and how I was living and how I was showing up and how I was loving it, how that wasn't really love. Beyond what her gender is, is what she's saying true? Is Bell Hooks like keeping it 100? And I think she is. <laughs>